Okay. So we're here today. I'm here today. We're checking out Susanna's barn owl boxes. Something I do. I've got responsibility for um, barn owls in Kilkenny. And this is underneath the tree that the box is in. And I couldn't be 100%. But this is more than, not probably, but quite possibly uh, barn owl whitewash. So this makes me think I'm going to I'm going to need to um, do further investigation, and it's an encouragement. That to... is a huge encouragement, yeah. and it's and it's called whitewash because it literally whitewashes the plant life. And the reason it's white is because of I don't know. <laughs> you got me. I there. thought you said it was uh, the calcium and things like that, well, or the lime well, within the. Um, what well, well, it's called bird lime, isn't it? So I suppose it is. Yeah, white. Well, yeah, I suppose it is. I. Do you know what? I've never really thought about why it's white. It just it looks like barn owl whitewash to me. You know. Um, yeah. And it's in a tree underneath the tree. On a... And this is the big beech tree here, and the barn owl box. You can't quite see it I'll take a picture from the other angle is just right there but yeah and so the next stage will be oh look there's a little bit more here there's a bit more here yeah. and, then and there's look, more look right in there yeah, and if you look up Susanna come back here and look up okay you can see a branch there that looks ideal for a perching branch that big one up there a that's bit. coming out which has a fork you talking about that yeah, one yeah the large bough yeah. That, that would be a typical... Place, perch. a platform a typical, to take typical, off from. Yeah, typical, uh, typical perch for barn owls. And uh, there's more two, whitewash in here too. For the adults, and not only the adults, when the young come out of the box... Oh, and look, there's fledge. more over there as well, whitewash. Yeah. So would the next stage be to see if we could find any owl pellets? Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. Is try and see if we can find owl pellets. So, yeah, no, there's plenty of what you call whitewash. This, there's the owl box that the tree climbers put up for me spring of last year. It was a bit late for the owl season. But this is the huge beech tree of one of the boxes. And down there is where we saw the, what Mick's calling the white lime wash. So he's now going to go and see if he can find any owl pellets around the base of the trunk. Mick hunting for owl pellets. Huge bramble patch here. And the berries are already forming on those that have been pollinated. You can see there's two different kinds of blackberries here. There's the white kind and the pink kind. You can see there's more pink there. Let's see if that one you can see is pink there and white. And that is blackberry biodiversity. So um, I haven't found any pellets. There's a little bit of whitewash, super habitat, but I'm going to come back with a ladder yeah. in a week or two and just check the box. Yeah. Because sometimes owls will use an empty box as a food stash. Ooh, you know, interesting. Yeah, they'll cache food, um, you know, uh, away from the natal site uh, and access it that way. Uh, the box has only been up for one season. I'd be surprised, a season and a half, I'd be surprised if it was actually... Yeah. It's not unheard of that they'd be, you know, they take up residence in that short period of time. But it's in a great spot. Um, uh, and I, you know, I'd be, uh, I'd be kind of confident, more than hopeful, that uh, you know, ours will take up residency sometime in the near future. Oh, that would be great stuff. Now we've got to go look at the second owl box. Great. Who knows? We might have more luck there. Okay. Yeah, the owl box is visible. Visible there. Yeah. This is our second one. Okay. And you were just saying what that owls are non-seasonal. Well, they've become, since climate change, uh, the last few years, we've noticed that owls used, pretty much used to regularly breed. They'd be, you know, pairing up in February and breeding in March, having their chicks May and June, July. Now, that season seems to be indeterminate now. We're finding more and more 
that birds are nesting around the clock, actually. You mean around the calendar? Yeah, around the calendar, yeah. Wow. Yeah, even one, one brood I know of fledged in January. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, January. So, you know, wow. uh, you know uh, so what was a seasonal job for me is now a yearly job, actually. And um, tagging baby owl, uh, surveying and tagging surveying to, baby owls. Surveying and tagging barn owls. Generally, what I do is survey sites looking for sign, whitewash pellets, feathers, yeah. etc. And if I see any fresh pellets, fresh sign, I'll, I'll go back in the, in the, the night time and I listen for chicks that make uh, a particular what, kind of noise. A particular kind of noise. It's called a snoring, but um, it does sound a bit like snoring, but it sounds more like. So, and that's calling to the parent to say, "I'm here, feed me." That's exactly right. That's exactly what it yeah. is. Yeah. And you know, because the adults make, um, it's also called a screech owl. They make a, a hair-raising screech, which of course the banshee, the legend of the banshee, of course, comes from the barn owl actually. Oh, um, and so what does that sound like? Since I, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Mick, I'll let you off yeah, on right. that one. Okay. But this owl, uh, we didn't find anything around this one. No. But hopefully next year, uh, next season, uh, we'll have a yeah. uh, Well, everything's babies. in place. They're both in fantastic spots. They've got clear flyways into both boxes. The habitat around here is first class, organic farm. You know, but high biodiversity. Yeah, you know, everything. It's got everything going for it. Um, I'm, I'd, I'd be confident, more than hopeful, that you'll have owls in the near future. Excellent. Yeah. That's great news. Well, I now know what to look for, so I can call you up and say, Mick, I've got whitewash. Come yeah. quick. Yeah. <laughs> look forward to that, Susanna.